What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 14 of our Python with PyQt for GUI application development tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about how can we open up a file. So it turns out that built within Qt is a file picker, so to speak, where we can pull it up and actually choose a file from our operating system's kind of directories. So that's pretty cool because it's built right in uh, to Qt. So let's just go ahead and jump in because how can we have an editor if we don't have a file to edit? That doesn't make any sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to add um, another bit like we've got open editor. Well, else we want to have is like file open. So we want to be able to go like open file, for example, and we'll say that is equal to. And in fact, um, let's just copy and paste all of this. That would make a lot of sense. And then, and then just start renaming stuff. So open file. <coughs> copy paste 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 instead of control E that would make sense to be control O uh, we're gonna make this open file and then status tip can be open file and then the triggered um, method will be file underscore open and that should be it the only other thing of course we need to add it to the file menu so what we'll do is uh, file menu dot add action and we want to add open file so open file awesome now we need to add our file or what, what do we call that method file open let's just copy and paste before we forget it scrolling on down we add another method whoops uh, oh dear <laughs> we almost made a huge mess of the place <clears throat> uh, we were gonna do it. I don't know. We'll just do it right here. Uh, so define file. Actually, let's paste. Yeah, file open, and then it was uh, you pass self, and now you're ready to go. So first of all, we have a name in a file. So first, we'll say uh, the name here is gonna be equal to Q T GUI equals um, oops qt gui dot q file dialog dot get open file name self and then uh, this will be the title basically to the little window that pops up and we'll title it open file then we're gonna say file equals open whatever that name is uh, and we're going to open it with the intention to read. Okay, so then, so when you when we open this file, what are we opening the file for? So we can open it and we can read it in, um, or well, this is just opening it with the intention to read. We haven't actually read a thing. Uh, but so the name, let's let's go even pa past that. So we we know we want to open the file. What do we want to do with it? Well, we want to load it into that text editor. And then up here, how do we get that file name? This is just, it's the file dialog built into Qt, and whatever file we pick, that's being returned as the file name. Done. So anyway, moving right along, after we have the file name, uh, what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we're going to call self.editor. Why are we calling self.editor? We need the editor to be there. If you recall, the editor is not there by default, right? We were going like show editor. Um, so if we don't call self.editor, <laughs> Uh, it won't be there. The file will load, and we can even populate the editor with the stuff. But until we call, um, you know, to set it as a central widget and all that, not, it won't actually show up anywhere. So, anyways, now we'll say with file, we're going to say text equals file dot read, and then we're going to say self dot text edit dot set text text, and that should be. All we need uh, text edit. Let me just make sure. Oh, even was text edit. I don't even know. We're gonna run this and see how it works. Okay. So first of all, I want to change to maybe plastique. Ah, oh, so pretty. Now, um, first let's just open the editor. Cool. So the editor works. Now let's try open file. And then here are the list of videos that we're writing right now. How about we open the same one that we're making right now? Let's do it. Here it is. Lovely, lovely. So there is our file. That's pretty cool. 
it, these things excite me whenever you finally like get to this point and you're like, wow, that's awesome. It worked. <laughs> Anyway, so that's cool. And it's a pretty good looking editor. I mean, we have this baby face. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> so, anyway, um, but just 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 admire the beauty of Pi QT, all the things that we have so far. And this is a pretty darn good looking window. You just wouldn't have a good looking window like this if you had T Kinter. So anyways, now we have the editor, we can open a file. And again, you've got this nice file picker that is like already there for you. It's easy. Uh, easy to use and all that. So anyways, let's close out of this. And now the next and final thing that we really need to do to finish up this little editing application that we've built for ourselves is we need to be able to save the file to whatever we want. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. So if you have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.